Buffy, I'm very sorry uh, for what happened to your friend. And thank you for coming on to talk to us about her. Thank you for having me. It's, uh, it's because of Laura that I came to know you guys. I met her when she was here in town. Laura Engel, great reporter. Yes, uh, yes. Thank you yes. Uh, for making that connection. <laughs> And she's uh, she's the right one. She's the right one to trust. So you have said that when you heard that your friend wasn't heard from, that she was missing, you immediately had a thought that it might have something to do with the custody. Why? <clears throat> well, she had been going through a terrible battle for quite some time. I, I didn't know all the all the other parts about her getting harassed and threatened. Um, we didn't talk about that much in our conversations, um, but I know that that she was fighting for her her children. What did she share with you about the nature of the difficulty? <clears throat> she just said that she had she was trying to change the venue um, as to where it was being held, and a couple times she just said that she was going to pick up her children. Like the day before she disappeared, I, I saw her. She was uh, headed out of town to get some groceries because they were going to have a, a little birthday party on the boat, I believe, for the the child. And she was so excited to go see them and be with them. And I knew she was had a court date coming up, and she was really thinking that she was going to be able to be getting her children back here with her all the time. Did she ever betray any sense of concern or fear for her safety or the kids? She did, but not. Um, I was just hearing a conversation. Um, I didn't know the grandmother. I didn't know the the man. I didn't. I, I knew of the baby daddy, but I didn't know him. Um, I knew of the the boyfriend there because he was in a, another case with a, a friend of mine, an, a terrible divorce case. So that's how I knew of him. And, and what was the nature, what was the nature of what you overheard in terms of her concerns? Just that she was scared and, and nothing was going her way. She would take two steps back or two steps forward and six steps back. There's my friend right there. Hmm. What do you want people to know about your friend? Because they've only learned about her through uh, what ended her life. What do you want them to know about how she lived it? I want you to know who, and I'm not going to cry. She was a good person. She um, was young and full of adventure and full of life. And she wanted nothing more than her children to, to come home. Um, she had a small business up here. I too have a business in this town and, uh, we had seen each other on quite a few occasions, and she was a great, a great person. I really miss seeing her little blue car out back of her nutrition shop every day because that's how I knew where she was. Buffy, I'm really sorry for your loss, and thank you uh, for putting a description to the face that we've all been looking at for the last couple of weeks. Thank you very much. Can, I appreciate you. Can I say one more thing? I spoke yes, with a very close, close, close person of hers. And I said, if you could have me tell them one thing, what would you have me tell them? And she said, Veronica was never going to give up on her kids. She said, and as long as Veronica needed her, she was going to be there for her and those babies. She didn't want to come on camera. She wants to wait till all this is done. But that was someone very close to her so i appreciate I, the reporting think, uh it is good to know yeah i think we need to keep an eye out for these children in the years in the weeks and the months to come and if you think about it all these babies but not just these babies but the one that came forward the one that that the 16 year old girl that's that's re represented in those yeah. papers she she needs to have a prayer she yeah, needs to point. be covered in prayer for for a long time time not only the the you know problems mentally that she could have the pain the sorrow the guilt whatever mm -hmm. but she needs to be covered in prayer and and the babies all the babies all yep, the babies no even the big babies it. no no 
we've already seen that people are willing to kill in this situation. So uh, the, the warning uh, is well met. Buffy Schooley, thank you very much. Uh, the 16-year-old that she's talking about is in the reporting. The, a 16-year-old wound up telling the authorities about what she overheard from the adults. And the adults wound up being the ones who were now arrested. If it weren't for this kid, who knows? Brave, brave to tell the truth about people that you love. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of NewsNation's fact-driven coverage.